Okay, let's start with our Firebase project. And um, just get over to firebase.pp.com and we're going to get started. So now we're going to go over to create a project. Uh, our project name, we're just going to see my job here. Accept the Firebase terms. I confirmed I use Firebase exclusively. Um, Google Analytics, this if you're creating you know, a website and you want Google Analytics for your project, but for this one, we're not really going to need it. We're going to uncheck that. So it's going to take a little bit of a while before it's going to create our project. Okay, so our project is ready now. We're going to continue. Okay, so now that we're logged in like this, we need to create, we need to connect our Firebase uh, account with our Firebase application, uh, the application we're using. So we're going to come over here, we're going to go to project settings and we're going to see there are no apps in your projects. I'm going to click here because we're using uh, React. We're just an app, app nickname. We're just going to see Ninja Buddha. I also said Firebase will see not now. It's the app. Hmm. So while this is setting up, well, we need to come over to our project. Okay. Now you can see we need to install Firebase on our React applications. So we're going to take this code, we're going to copy it, and we're going to come over here. You can see this much better. I'm going to paste it over here. I'm going to press install. Now, while that is installing, we need to create a Firebase configuration file. Uh, we're going to come into our source pool folder. We're going to create a File in firebase.config. Okay, so that's my bias. It's not supposed to be that config, it's supposed to be firebase config.js. Ah, sorry about that. So now that we've done that, we're going to copy this code here because this is our firebase configuration. This API key and this auto domain key should be kept in your environmental variables. They should not just be exposed into the file like this, but we're going to do that anyway, because we're just starting out. Okay. So now we've done that. So we are also going to import this initialize app as well. Our npm is still loading. We're going to also come here and copy this. Paste it over here. So now that we've done that, just continue over to the console. And we've done that. I think we're good now. So we're going to go over, go ahead to. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to go into our authentication. And if you don't see this first, you just click on get started and it should take you here. Now with Firebase, we can authenticate users with Google, Facebook, so many um, options provided for us. We can also authenticate users with email and password. And that's what we're we going to be doing in this video. So we're going to click on this email and password, we're going to enable it. We're not going to enable this. We're just going to say save. Okay. So now it's enabled. And this is where all our users will show. Now we're going to go back into application. Uh, previously, I've connected the application with our Firebase, with the Firebase config file, and also installing Firebase into our application. So all we're going to need from 
this firebase config file and we're going to import this get out from firebase stroke out then we're going to export a constant an out constant which is pretty much just using this app inside get out function so when we export this we go back to our app.js and here we're going to import the create user with email and password from our firebase authentication so once we've imported this create user email and password uh we can just come over and use it here to create the users now i have created just a dummy um project here where i created the email the email and the password fields and the button and the function to um to create the user when the user clicks on submit now we've gotten our email and password from the use ref uh, if you don't know about the use ref hook i've created a video about it previously i'll put the link in the description so let's get started so now what we're going to do was going to say constant user equals to await because it's an async function as you can see i've already used async here when creating this function we're going to await with the create user with email password we're going to first of all pass in the aut that we exported okay we've not exported it that's it so let's do that we we'll say import aut from our firebase config file now after using that as the first parameter our second parameter is the email and the last parameter is the password then we're going to console log whoever we get after doing that so we're going to come over here now uh we're going to impute something that is not an email a valid email we're going to say yes that's what we're going to say yes i'm going to see what that gives us when we click on submit we'll wait a little while and you can see it comes with a with an error it says firebase error or invalid email that means firebase is also checking the input we give to it it doesn't just accept anything we give to it and so if firebase is also checking uh, we also as um, developers we also need to check before that um, value goes up to firebase now we're going to put in a valid email let's see if i enter coder i had gmail then for the password we're going to use a five character password one two three four five and let's see what we give it so you see it there's also an error it says firebase says the password should be at least six characters so you can see that firebase is also checking what we are also doing it's not just accepting anything we give to it uh so we're going to do on submit now there is six characters we're going to see what that shows so you can see the it has been successful and the user has been uh created see the user if we come to the user here we can see the access token you can also see the displaying the email you may verify this false meaning we have never done the application it will not return the password however so now we can go and check our authentication here i can just refresh and you can see the user has been successfully created now that is for signing the user what about logging the user you don't want to create you want to check if that user exists now Firebase comes with a function that can help us do that as well. So what we're going to do here, we're going to cancel all of this. We're going to say, instead of create user, we're going to say login user. Now for login user, we need to also import a function from Firebase, which is sign in with email and password. Uh, this is just like the create user with email password is that with this one it returns us a an array telling us if the user was created it returns the details of the user accepts the password if the user was is has not been created or has not created an account it return an error or if the user email or the password is incorrect it will also return an error so let's look at that now so what we're going to do here is say login user we're going to say constant user equals our weights we're going to see sign in with email and the password now for this we also need to pass in the odds function um, value that we exported from the firebase config file then we also pass in the email and we pass in the password 
and we're going to also console log that and see what we get now we come back here uh, we can see this is what we used to create user login so we're going to delete this six we're going to make it seven and see what it will tell us so when we click submit you can see it returns an error it says out wrong password that means the password is invalid so what we're going to do we're going to also input the right password but we're going to make a change to the in-law and we'll see what it will tell us it says of oh, user not found. That means this user, this email that we've imputed has not been found on this table. And so it's returning the error that the user was not found. So we're going to also put that back. And this is what we use to create the user. So we should submit and see what we get. So you can see very quick, it's giving us the details of the user, the user email and all other um, information of the user. So that is how we can use the signing and the um, the create user and the signing with email password functions with Firebase. Thank you. Please make sure you subscribe. I'll be creating more videos like this in the future.